Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all doing well. Now, if you're like me, you're working from home a lot more than usual. And that fine line between work and play can get blurred in these times. And in my case, it's got blurred even more recently. That's because I've discovered a way to combine work and play both on the NVIDIA Shield TV. Just imagine for a second that you're playing games, consuming content, all on your NVIDIA Shield TV. And then you suddenly realize there's some work you should be doing. And then, just like magic, you're on your Windows computer doing some work and you haven't left the couch. So how is this achieved? Well, it's all through one app, and this app has been developed by a reputable company, allowing you to use Windows 10 and Android TV all on one single machine, the NVIDIA Shield TV. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's capable of and how you can install it on your NVIDIA Shield TV. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, keep on watching. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, so this app basically lets you connect to your Windows PC seamlessly via your NVIDIA Shield TV. Now to use the Windows PC environment on your NVIDIA Shield, you're going to need a couple of things, which are a mouse and keyboard. And to keep things simple, I'm using a Logitech MX mouse and K400 keyboard links for which I've left in the description below, in case you want to copy my setup. Now as you can see we've got full access to Windows features including the menu system and all its tiles within. And I'm not experiencing any major lag or stuttering. And of course we've got access to the famous Cortana, which admittedly I don't really use. But it's there if you want it. And we've got access to Windows Great App Manager. So let's take a look at web browsing. Open up a new tab and type in a search. And again, no lag, almost instantaneous search results. Now considering this is going over my Wi-Fi, this is a pretty good result. So now I'm gonna go into video and see what it's like. So let's go into YouTube. Now as you can see guys, it's all working well up to 1080p. Now there is a slight bit of lag showing with his voice, but that's to be expected. When you factor in, you are mirroring your PC over the Wi-Fi network. And this can vary depending on the speed of your network. And now I'll just shut up for a bit and let you see for yourself what it's like. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we've got full access to Windows and all notifications. So if you are working, you're going to get the notifications here in the side panel. And of course, we can also access video conferencing. Now, I can imagine this working with a Wi-Fi camera connected to your PC. Now, the other cool feature I like using is the picture in picture feature on YouTube. So you can have it running in the background while you're doing your work on your PC on your NVIDIA Shield TV. It all sounds a bit futuristic like the movie Inception with Leonardo. And the cool thing is it even plays a video while I'm switching apps. I'm in multitasking heaven. Now I did also try playing my favourite game League of Legends on PC. But of course in full screen mode it doesn't work. I was getting a graphics handler error. Now if you don't know, you can actually play League of Legends in a windowed mode. But I've yet to try using it in windows mode. If any of you guys out there does have a go at this, let me know if you get this working. Now the other cool thing about this app is that you can log on to your PC with multiple accounts all from your NVIDIA Shield. So here you can see I've got my two accounts that I've got on my PC. Now if I log on to the other PC, you're going to get this message pop up telling you that if you continue to log on, you're going to log out the other user, which is you anyway. So I'm going to click yes. Now it's saying it's waiting for that other user to respond. So I'm going to log back into that account and respond. Click OK to say you're happy to be logged out and it lets you know that someone else logged in. And it's as simple as that, you're logged in as the second user on your PC now. Okay, so what's this app called and how do we get it on our Android TV? Well, if you haven't figured it out already, this app is from Microsoft and it's called Remote Desktop. And to install it, we're gonna sideload it. So we're gonna go into the Google Play Store and download one app, which is called Downloader. So if you do a search for a Downloader, you'll find it there, just download it. And once you've downloaded it, open it up and enter the following address. B I T full stop L Y forward slash two capital N capital E Z capital O X Z and press return. Now this will start downloading and it'll take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your network. Once it's done, you'll get the following screen. Just click on install and it should take another minute or so to install. Then just click on done and you can delete the APK file as we no longer need it. Okay, now that's done, we can open the app. Now you won't find the app in the normal applications folder. You'll need to go into settings and scroll down to apps and then see all apps. And then just scroll down until you find it. Once you've got it, click on open. As you can see, I've already set up a user account for connection to my PC. 
but don't worry, I'll add another user just to show you how to add an account. So taking a quick look around, if we click on the hamburger menu, we've got the general settings, and we've got the option to enable pinch to zoom, which is great if you've got a touchscreen. Now under display settings, we've got the option to auto adjust orientation, and we've got default resolution, and we can match the device resolution, and we can also add a custom resolution. Now we've also got the option to scale our display, but as it says below, this can affect performance. Now next item down is gateways. Now this is a great little feature. By adding a gateway, you can connect to your PC from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. Now the next menu item down is user accounts, and below that is about. And like I mentioned earlier, this is an official app by Microsoft. And if you scroll down, you can see all the official blurb. Now next down on the menu is a little help section. And below that, we've got a watch new section. And this is interesting, they've added support for the Samsung DeX system. Okay guys, that's enough of that. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a new user to connect to your PC from your NVIDIA Shield TV. Now you just need to click on the plus sign at the top here and click on desktop. The app will automatically scan for any nearby PCs. So I'm just going to select my PC and then select the pull down menu. And here you can choose to add credentials every time you log in or you can add an account and save it like tech figure here. Now on this occasion, I'm going to add a new user. So type in your username, which in my case is my email address and then follow it by your password. Now once that's done, click on connect. And that's it guys, you now basically log on as usual. Or you can log on as your other user by simply clicking on the hamburger menu and selecting him. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.